For the record, I'm not wearing pants for this video, so I don't know why I had to tell you that. What's worry, buddy? I don't remember the last time I shot a video this early. To the point that I kind of have to whisper, like you can see the sun is still rising right now. Four and a half years ago, I made a video titled, I don't know, Dear Me, a message to my younger self. It was like a trending video going around at the time called Dear Me. You would send a message to yourself five years in the past and tell your younger self lessons that you've learned. Now that it's almost been five years since that video, I watched it back, not only do I look like I don't, like a turtle man I say it all the time I look like a f***ing turtle in that video and what's even more weird is that I guarantee five years from now I'm gonna say the same thing about me now Dan you look like a turtle back then like maybe I am a turtle at this point <laughs> today's video I think it would be kind of cool to try to send a message to myself five years from now so it's current Dan talking to Dan five years from now so 2024 man, I don't even know I'm not a goal setter I just goals don't really work with me or like my type of brain I don't know that's goals aren't what motivate me honestly speaking guys this video is not scripted at all I have not written down anything to say so let's hope this goes well to Dan five years from now in five years I will be 32 did you move to San Diego if not why because right now you are convinced that that is where you're supposed to be in two and a half years. And if you didn't go, no judgment, because honestly right now at the same time, I'm okay with it, but like why didn't you do it? Did anxiety play a role? Anxiety has, uh, and not to get like heavy in anxiety or anything, but anxiety has played such a large role in my life in terms of de making decisions. Five years from now, I don't even know if I'm gonna be doing YouTube anymore. And not in like a negative note, like I wanna stop. Here are the big questions. Five years, are you married? So where are you living is obviously a big one. What are you doing? Are you in a relationship? Did I go through any like really hard times? Like, I think that would be, I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't want to know that, but if Dan, you're watching this in five years, did you go through hard times in those five years? I didn't expect this video to get so heavy so quick. <laughs> are you happy and are you fulfilled with your life? As a general question, are you married? And who is your wife? <laughs> I'm sounding like a Dr. Seuss book right now. Is this somebody you knew five years ago? How did you meet them? I don't anticipate myself having kids by then, for the record. But if I have kids, cool. Hey, hey future kids, it's your father. <laughs> this is getting trippy as hell. How did that happen? What are their names? What has been the hardest part of the last five years? And how did you or how are you getting through it? Are you still doing YouTube? How's Charlie? You know, I feel like I might get emotional in this video. It's weird. Yo, thinking about Charlie, that makes me emotional. Ah, Because five years, he should only be uh, seven or eight. But Charlie makes me f***ing emotional, man, because I love that guy so much. How's your anxiety, Dan? That's what I want to know. How's your anxiety? I don't anticipate it being gone by any means. But did you have a hard time with it in the past five years? Ah, yo, why the f*** am I getting emotional? <laughs> <laughs> this was not anticipated at all. I thought this was just gonna be a funny video, man. I think I get emotional whenever I talk about anxiety. It's affected my life, and not in, not in like a like a terrible way, but it's sometimes yeah, sometimes I hate it. Oh man, <laughs> and it gives you a skewed perception of reality. And one last thing, I think a reason why I get the way I do about anxiety is because. For me, it's a trait I still struggle with in terms of uh, self-confidence. Um, there's a big part of me that feels like when I let somebody in in my life, whoa, what am I doing, man? <laughs> when I let somebody in my life um, and they get to see all sides of me that isn't always kind of goofy or joking around, um, it's scary. It's one of the scariest things that I think uh, mentally I go through because I'm worried it's gonna deter them from wanting to get to know me more uh, Man, I, I only really have ever shown one side of me and uh, If I do like an art piece that always kind of weirds you guys out because you're like that's not Dan That's not the Dan we know like Dan only makes dick jokes which Like the main version of me <laughs> does but there's also another side of me that uh, gets rather emotional when I think about uh, anxiety and uh, when people get to know me, it worries me that it's gonna push them away or that they may not, um, it may not be something they signed up for or something like that. But on the flip side of things, I wouldn't change it for the world. It's given me the gift of understanding people on an emotional level. In a way, it's like a superpower, my anxiety. It gives me vibes and feelings about somebody or something that I can pick up on. Did art stick around? Did you keep doing that? 
because right now you're about to start selling your art. When I sat down to do this stuff, this stuff is sentimental, it means a lot to me because I know in five years I'm gonna watch this. Uh, I don't know if I'm even gonna upload this. <laughs> like, honestly speaking, if I think of anything else, I'll record more, but as it stands now, on the grand scheme of things, I think they're very cliche questions that we'd all ask ourselves. Anyways, guys, I challenge you to do this. Try it at home, see what happens. And do it under the light that you're not being judged. I think you have to sit there, don't do it in front of camera if you're not comfortable, or if you feel like you're cringe, write it down. Write it in a book, but be as honest and as raw and only do it under the idea that no one will ever see this. And that's where you'll start to get real. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram, at Danocracy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.